talk about first today. This is not the private schools. The, it just it's hilarious. You know, there's one article in the in the in the mail today. People pre- trying to pretend that because Keir Starmer went to a school that became fee paying halfway through his time there, even though his parents never paid fees, particularly stupid people or perfectly decent people who've read newspapers designed to mislead perfectly decent people are pretending to think that there's some sort of hypocrisy involved in his attitude to um, or, or him and Michael Gove. It's very important to say this, particularly for the very hard of thinking um, gammon and pineapple party on this one. It, it's very important to say that the, the policy on private schools supported by Keir Starmer and Michael Gove um, people desperate to pretend that somehow Keir Starmer is a hypocrite because he went to a school that wasn't fee-paying and his parents never paid school fees, but halfway through his time there, it became fee-paying for new arrivals and, and new pupils. The Daily Mail today uses italics. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to read you this as well. It's by, um, it's by Andrew Pierce, formerly, of course, of this parish. And the, it's the most hilarious right-wing use of italics you will ever see in your life. Are you ready for this? While there, this is one of the articles designed to make people think that there's some sort of hypocrisy involved in Keir Starmer going to a school that wasn't fee-paying and having parents who never paid fees. Um, Although new pupils arriving at the school some years after he started would have been required to because Margaret Thatcher abolished grammar schools. While there, wait for this, these are the best italics you have ever seen in your life. While there, so Keir, in fact, guess where the italics are in this sentence, all right? This is your, this is, while there, Sir Keir learnt to play the flute, piano and recorder and was good enough to secure a place at the prestigious Junior Guildhall School of Music in London. This is supposed to portray Keir Starmer as being particularly privileged. Keir Starmer, who has spoken about, how, I think, having the phone cut off because his um, dad's income was not entirely reliable and his mum's illness uh, removed the possibility for having dual incomes. He's not claiming, he's not like the four Yorkshiremen, he's not claiming that they kept a fork in the sugar bowl in order to minimise the amount that anyone could put in a cup of tea or hung out their tea bags on the washing line. He's, he does none of that. He talks very movingly, very calmly about this in the full disclosure interview that he did with your humble correspondent. Uh, but the Daily Mail need to malign everybody because, of course, if, if they stop hating, then they'd have to deal with pain. While there, where do you think the italics are in this marvellous sentence designed to make you think that Keir Starmer is just sort of a, you know, a marquis in disguise? While there, Sir Keir learnt to play the flute, piano and recorder and was good enough to secure a place at the prestigious Junior Guildhall School of Music in London. Yeah, yeah. I, I will now do the voice to display or convey the word that is italicised. While there... Sir Keir learnt to play the flute, piano, and recorder. They've put and in it, and recorder. Not just the flute. Oh, no. Oh, no, Sir Rebob. Not just the piano. The, the re- Is there anybody in England who didn't learn the recorder at primary school? Even Keith, did you? Of course you did. Everybody learned. Every, uh, London's burning. London's burning. But anyway, Keir Starmer learnt to play the recorder at primary school. Therefore, his opinion that the richest people in the country shouldn't get a tax break on paying school fees for their children must be dismissed and derided as communism in all but name. But we're not going to talk about that. Uh, Not...